Welcome back, everybody, to Quarantine Cooking, episode 40, you guys, 40. My name is Chef Mark Segovia with Segovia's Catering. I'm here in the beautiful Neon Exchange kitchen, as you can see, with all the beautiful pink. We got Tony Bowles behind the camera. Hello, How are you everyone. doing, Tony? Uh, we always, like always, 40 episodes down, we always want to say hi to Andrea Nicolette out there. How are you doing, Andrea? Hope you're doing well. We miss you. Hope you're being safe out there, you guys. Uh, today's rest, uh, menu, you guys, we're going to be doing a garlic shrimp. It's cabrones a la mojo de ajo. Short garlic shrimp, you guys. So we'll be rocking some Gilroy garlic shrimp here in a little bit. Yeah. We do have two guests in the house that have a big event coming up. So we're here to support them. And we want, them, we want to hear what's going on with them. We do have two people. The first one, Belinda Williams. She owns Nimble Thimble right down the street, you guys. Nice. That place has been there forever. If you're from Gilroy, you know about the Nimble Thimble. The <laughs> second one... I don't know about this guy. We almost kicked him out a little bit ago. His name is Mac. He's uh, he's actually the president. He is the president of Santa Cruz County Quilt Guild. So here we go, you guys. Welcome, you guys. Hi, Welcome. Linda. Hi, Mac. Welcome, you guys. The Welcome. president <laughs> and Linda. So how does it feel to be with the president? Humbling. Humbling. I knew this was going to be a serious serious show when they said the president was going to be here so. yes yes so here we are so linda so tell us about the nimble thimble and where that uh where that is actually located and what it's all about okay so the nimble thimble is just down the street one block Fine. and we are a quilt shop we have anything you need if you quilt or sew and we're always happy to see anybody who comes in nice it's a beautiful shop with beautiful fabrics, like Thank wall you. to wall. Like the one yes. behind you. Like the one know. behind it, yes. It is a fabulous shop. I, sh I come down here to Gilroy whenever I can. I actually like to run into Linda and her friend Sandy and Charlie, uh, but Hi, I also Sandy, like to Charlie. shop there as well. <laughs> <laughs> and so, Mac, what are you up to, and what exactly does that position entail? Well, being president means that I might be... Uh, excused any moment now as we saw with Trump so it's, uh, it's, I'm, I'm on tenterhooks the whole time I could lose my job but seriously I belong to a guild with over 300 members oh, wow. and they're just fabulous people whose main object in life is to make their quilts for their family their mm -hmm. friends mm -hmm. and for the community at large all quilts do is bring love and comfort, and that's what I'm all about, actually. And I just put up a display at another quilt shop up in, uh, up in I can't think of the town. It's Richmond. Thank you very much. <laughs> good back up there. Good back yeah. up. And it's uh, run by Sally Davy, another great quilt shop owner. And uh, I had just yesterday installed a whole bunch of my quilts up there, nine quilts on display there. So there's always work going on in the quilt world, uh, COVID yeah. uh, notwithstanding, so. Nice. Yeah, So we'll you. get to learn more Yeah, about definitely. It. I know you guys have something big coming up, you guys, so we'll talk about it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, what we're going to do is get going with some cooking. You guys ready? We're ready. You guys like garlic? Love it. You better. You're in Gilroy. You better with, like Gilroy garlic. We're with you, chef. Uh, you want to come in? We'll talk about okay. the ingredients real quick. Okay. We've got some uh, short grain rice, of course, my salt and pepper mixture. It's uh, about 75% salt, 25% pepper. Okay. Uh, Gilroy garlic, minced garlic. Uh, we got some cumin seed. We got the whole cumin seed. These are roasted already. Okay. I bought them like that. So if you buy them not roasted, you can roast them in a saute pan, dry saute pan really quick. That's if you want them roasted. Got a, a non-salted butter and some paprika for a little bit of that smoke flavor. This shrimp right here, you guys, is a 2125. You guys know what those numbers are? No. No? no? That's good. I'm going to tell you guys. <laughs> Because uh, 2125 means that's how many you're going to get in a pound. Oh, so the less, less to know. the bigger they are. So you might get 5 to 10. That means you're only going to get 5 to 10 shrimp in one pound. Which might be a good thing. Yeah, because they're big ones. Yeah. So if you get 100 to 110, those are little shrimp. Mm. So you guys will never forget that. Didn't know never that. Forget Didn't know that. Shrimpy shrimp. Right? First thing yeah. we're going to do, you guys, is, and we do have our onion here. We're going to be, be putting in that some lemon for the marinade. For the for the for the moho moho you means you guys it's gonna be a moho always gonna have garlic in it it's mm -hmm. always gonna have garlic in it and you add different stuff in it and you make a little paste okay that's what a moho is uh, so ours we're gonna add some olive oil it's a hundred percent virgin olive oil I have it back over here we're gonna be using my little bullet okay which I use for everything you guys make drinks puree stuff this thing's awesome uh, I like it so. You can use a blender, you guys, Cuisinart mixer, whatever you guys want. Mm -hmm. First thing we're going to do is do uh, 
So white rice, you guys. So the ratio for white rice is, you can do the ratio to make Three rice. Three to one. <laughs> one to one. That's a two to one. Two, two to one. one. So, That's so close. We're going to add one cup of rice. Okay. There we go. You said it was long grain or short grain? This is going to be short grain. Okay. So that's one cup of rice. I, I don't really use these, as Tony knows. Yes, but they're in the kitchen. They're in the kitchen, so we're going to use them. <laughs> they're purple, so we use them. Yes. Everything in the kitchen, by the way, is colorful. <laughs> he jokes. So what do you guys have coming up, you guys? Talk to us. Talk to us. What's going on? Okay. So uh, next Thursday through the 18th, so the 8th to the 18th, yeah. here at Neon Exchange, Gorgeous, gorgeous facility. We are having a quilt show to raise money for St. Joseph's Family Center. St. Joe's is the local um, nonprofit which supports all primarily homeless people and mm -hmm. in the way of food, housing. They get food every day. They see them every yeah. day. Every day. Yeah. And during COVID, they've expanded their efforts mm -hmm. so that every single day, except Saturday and Sunday, sometimes on Saturday and Sunday, but Primarily Monday through Friday, they mm -hmm. hand out boxes of food fixed for a family. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So they have a line of cars, a very short line of cars, but mm -hmm. um, each family or each group of families come in and they get their own box of food to last them a week. Amazing. Fresh Amazing. food. Amazing. It's in conjunction with Second Harvest and several of the other mm -hmm. bigger food banks. But on an average, um, that small group of of people at St. Joe's is handing out 600 boxes. Oh my God. Yeah, that's awesome. oh my it's, God. A, it's quite the effort. Mm. That is so, amazing. We can't wait, we can't wait, you guys. We're gonna get into the marinade real quick and we're gonna get back into some more information on how we could see it, how we could purchase stuff, how we get a hold of you guys, how we, just exactly. everything, you guys. So let's make this marinade real quick. Okay. We're gonna do, of course, all this garlic. It's gonna be about half a cup of garlic here. So we're putting all of that in like sort of your little bullet food processor. Yes. Okay. Yes. There we go. A little bit of paprika. Is it just for the smokiness? It's about a, uh, two teaspoons. Okay. Looking about a teaspoon of this, of the uh, cumin seed. No butter. I'm going to put the butter after the saute. Okay. Salt, pepper. Look at that, you guys. Just a little mm. bit. There we go. That's great. I'm going to put a little bit of cilantro. You like to use like cilantro? Love it. And cilantro is the only uh, herb, the only uh, one you can eat the uh, uh, stems. So you can eat the stems on these guys. Okay. Hmm. Trivia. I got the, I got That's the, to know. I got the rice on high right now. Okay. Rice, all you do is bring it to a boil, put it on low. Once it comes to a boil, put it on low and cover it. That's it. Set it and forget, forget it. Forget it. Okay. Here we go. Olive oil. Yes. Let's see how high we could go. <laughs> Let's go right there. Now look at this magic, how quick this is, you guys. Oh, I'm forgetting one thing. I'm going to add some lime here. Look at that tool. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Did I get you? No, no I'm okay. amazed. Why not? Try again. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, you're pretty quiet. Remember, we couldn't keep you quiet earlier, man. I'm so demure. <laughs> There we go. Get a little tartness in there. Okay. Here we go. Look how quick this is, you guys. Look how quick this is. Look at that. That's what we're looking at. And that's it right there. Okay. I thought cooking was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Take a whip of that one. Okay, we're done. Let's just eat that. Oh, that's heaven. That's, 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 that's heaven. That's yeah. Okay. There we go, you guys. Oh. Tony, let's take a whip of that real quick. Oh, wow. This is what you're looking for, you guys. Let me get a spoon. I'm going to show that. That's What's impressive. Up? Is that edible just like that, right? Yeah, you can. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Amazing. Nice. Amazing. That's what you're looking for. That's the mojo right there. That's okay. the mojo right there. You, if you want it spicy, add some jalapenos, serranos, habaneros, whatever you guys want to this. Okay. You can add more di different herbs. You want to... Uh, fix it up a little bit, put some mint in it. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a whole different taste to it. So you can do whatever you want to this, you guys. Okay. We're going to put this right here. We're going to clean up and we'll be right back. Okay. So here we go, you guys, with our rice. It's coming to a boil. You want to check this out, Tony? Yeah. That's all you're looking for is a hard boil like that, you guys. Now, put it on simmer. I have it on really, really low here. 
and cover it. And Tony, what do we do? Set it and, and forget, forget it. it, you guys. So we're gonna get some more information from these guys over here. Watch out for Mac. He's looking much older. <laughs> so Linda, <laughs> the overall theme of this show is tulip pink. So yes. what is the, what is tulip pink, and what is the background for the show? Okay. So one of the big designers in the quilt world is Tula Pink. She's remarkable, um, very much along the lines of this quilt. And um, she had a contest, nationwide contest, with a $10,000 prize. And any shop that supplied the fabric to the quilter to make the quilt that went in the contest that Tula built. <laughs> the template, <laughs> the book. <laughs> yeah. Um, all those finalists, um, quilters, their quilts are touring as a national show oh, nice. to all the shops that sold the fabric. So it all circles back eventually. The, shop, the quilts are going everywhere, but this wow. is the only quilt stop in California. So um, we know, have a local resident, right, who yes. was one of the finalists, which yes. is hence why it was stopping in Gilroy. Lydia Cheney, a wonderful, wonderful quilter and a fantastic person. And so um, the quilts were available here during COVID and we took the chance. Mm -hmm. And now because we've all been so good and worn our masks all along, we're able to have an in-person show. Yay! Yay. 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 COVID safe. COVID safe. So we're doing it um, April 8th to the 18th, as you mentioned, and beginning at 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We're doing it on hourly slots, COVID safe. So you can buy um, your ticket. It's $10 in advance, right? That's nothing. Right. $12 at the nothing. door. Nothing. Um, you go to 7-Eleven, you spend 30 bucks on nothing there. Yeah. Yeah, ten dollars is nothing. And then if they don't, if they're still a little concerned about coming out in person, my, we're gonna have an April seventh pre-show virtually on Facebook Live, and our great MC. I get to uh, interview all these quilts. Essentially, it's sort of like having a pageant, and mm -hmm. you have these twelve beautiful quilts, and you get to say what you think about them. I get to, yeah. and uh, they're oh, all. Oh, I, I've seen them all. We're in and trouble. They're, we're they're in all. Trouble. They're all. <laughs> They all use the same fabric line from the from the fabric line called Homemade by Tula Pink. And so it's like anything else, whenever you have a challenge mm -hmm. in the quilt world, everybody gets the same fabric. Here's the sizes or here's the theme or here's whatever mm -hmm. you want. And it doesn't matter what parameters you put on it. People come up with absolutely different yeah. quilts. And these are the 12 national winners or international winners of this tulip pink contest. Mm -hmm. And they're just beautiful. And I can't wait to uh, show them to you and uh, give you my quick impressions about them because they're just wonderful. They're just stellar quilts. Uh, and they're using that wonderful line of quilts called the homemade line, mm -hmm. which has little bits and pieces of pieces that we use when we're at home, when mm -hmm. we're making our quilts, whether it's the rotary blade cutters, the scissors, the fabric itself, mm -hmm. or even the little sewing machine uh, icon that she has in some of these quilt pieces, these uh, fabric pieces. Mm -hmm. They're just uh, magical colors of hers because Tula Pink is well known for her bright, vibrant, mm -hmm. gem colored quilt uh, material. It's just fabulous and it's really a, a, a It'll be wonderful to see whether you come in person and see it here in Gilroy or whether we have it online yeah. for you. It would be really wonderful. And so it'll be um, that virtual show's Facebook Live at the Neon Exchange business page, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, on April 7th. And so you can log on. It's free. If you miss it, don't worry. You can catch it again, I hear, and we'll blast it out afterwards. So it's We're going to have it in the... World Wide Web forever, <laughs> Linda, forever. So or, be great. or if if you missed it here in Gilroy, you can you know get yourself up to Alberta, Canada, and that's where it goes next. Which we'll is wonderful. Like, Alberta, Canada is yeah. beautiful, so yeah. it's really it might, might be worth it. The might trip. be worth it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm always impressed with these quotes because I wouldn't even know where to start. I wouldn't even know where to start. We'll show you. I'm telling you, I'll stick to cooking and watch you guys do the quilts, all right? <laughs> They're beautiful. We can't wait. We really can't wait to see all the beautiful artwork. They're great. I call it artwork. It, it is just, artwork. It's beautiful. Yeah. 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 You know, this yeah. is my artwork. That's what you guys do, and it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that, you guys. And we're definitely going to be tuning in. 
And I'll be uh, sneaking into the Neil Exchange and checking things out. Yes. yes. <laughs> staff, staff are free. Yes, so staff. Wait, wait. I'll be staff. I'll be five bucks. Staff for the day. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get back to cooking here for a little bit, you guys. We're going to get some onion. This is going to just get a real quick. Watch out because he cries with onion. No, all the time. So it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Look at how we just cut that. With this ease. is gonna be just for to saute with the the shrimp, you guys. Can you smell that rice cooking? Are you ready to saute? Absolutely. All righty. I'm gonna have these two saute for a little bit. See okay. what what they got. Let's see what they got here. You just hit it with just a little. Right. Bit yeah, it's on medium right now. Might be dangerous. It's on medium. Uh, medium. Uh, I have uh, the shrimp here. Okay. We're gonna add the shrimp. You hear that sizzle? And, and of course, remember I have that butter over there, but. If I were to add the butter right now and the garlic, it would just burn. Okay. The garlic would burn. You would have burnt butter. The garlic, I mean, I'm sorry, the butter would just burn. It would be all brown or black butter. And the garlic would just burn also. So first you cook the shrimp. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to add some uh, butter at the end to mount it. To pick it up that sauce a little okay. bit. Okay. Here we go. Let's get that on high. There we go. That's, oh! Oh, party foul. Party foul. We're not gonna eat that one. There's no five minute rule, you guys. Oh, okay, I well, won't. We're throwing it away. So here we go, we got Matt going first. Go, Matt, go, go Matt. back. Go back. You're on. Be careful, don't be like me, dropping everything. Even the professional drop. Look at one, there you go, right. Matt. There you go. Woo! Oh, good. I know I'm just gonna leave the show. We got Matt taking over. <laughs> Linda, one time, Linda. Let's go, Linda. You'll get your job back. <laughs> it's funny. There you go. Man. All right. There you go. We have Linda in the house rocking it. So you see that shrimp about halfway done, you guys? Is okay. that just moho? Oh. That's we're going to add these last to keep the color. Okay, so that's the secret sauce that you're going to put in. Look at that. Look at that. I got to watch this. Oh, wow. And we don't want to waste all that goody stuff right there. Add a little water. Yeah, come on, you guys. Forget about it. Nice. There we go. How's that smell? Sounds wonderful. Rice is cooking. Nice. We're sauteing some shrimp with the garlic sauce here. Look at this. Oh my this god. This smells yeah. like heaven. It's Does wonderful. It? Yeah. Look at that. Can't wait. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. That's what we're looking at, you guys. Mm. That's what we're looking for. The shrimp takes no time to cook. You're looking cook. Um, two minutes the most. Okay. The most. So now we're gonna add a little bit of cilantro. We got this, you guys. Let's add this onion right here. Just dump it in there. I'm just dropping everything slipping right now. <laughs> Don't write me up. Don't write me up. I am not. I am not. Tell me you're going to have to. I need the job. I need the job. <laughs> and you just stir it like that. Just and stir it like so. Look at this. Look at that, you guys. I don't know when you die if you go to heaven or hell, but I hope it smells like this mm. wherever yes. I go. Yes. It's great. And look up. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> It is not my day. Wait a minute. Let's it take a look at that. Oh. I did that. Sorry. It Sean. is not my day. Third strike. He pushed my shoulder and that was it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get it right now. Tony, I got it. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Never, <Yeah. break. laughs> Never happened. No, Can you edit that from the nerve? <laughs> no, it's valuable. It's, it's good stuff. Make sure it gets you. My God. Okay, so you're just slightly melting that? or what? Yeah, all it is is melting oh, it. <laughs> That's already that's already done. We're gonna turn it off already. Okay. What that does is thicken the sauce a little bit. Okay. How does that smell? So, Wonderful. Mm. That's great. Okay, so and, what I want to ask you guys really quick before we plate this, um, how do we get in touch with Nimble Thimble or where do we go for more information or how to shop? For the show? Uh, for Nimble Thimble the shop in terms oh, of the shop. Yeah, so it is or a website. There is. Best, oh conveniently both are under Nimble Thimble. So if you just Google Nimble Thimble, you'll find us. There are four or five different Nimble Thimbles in the country. Mm -hmm. So be sure you get the one in Gilroy. Nice. That, that's CCPC. Are you also on Facebook and Instagram? Yeah, I am. Nimble Thimble. Awesome sauce. So be sure. And, and order shopping right now is in the form of phone call and then. Uh, shopping right now is um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, okay. Sunday, 11 to 3. We're open. And any other time. 24-7, I'm glad to come in 
by appointment. Okay, sounds good. And mm -hmm. how can we follow you, Mac? Ma I'm uh, at macquilts.com, and I'm also Instagram and uh, Facebook. So You go on with your bay. I was looking for you. Yeah. I couldn't find you, Mac. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> it's Mike McNamara, and then after it says Mac. So, nice. But the trouble is Mike McNamara is a well-known name. It's like a common name. So, so and Mac McNamara is hard to say. <laughs> Mac McNamara. <laughs> I had a little cilantro. You guys, look at this. Ooh, that look at this. Looks good. Oh. Lovely. The color is really nice, too. How beautiful, beautiful is that, you guys? That's Very beautiful. Mm. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plate. I'm mm. going to have these two try it and see if they like it. Hopefully they give me a thumbs up, you guys. Here we go. we got our wonderful white rice. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. So One cup of rice, two cups of water, boil, cover, forget about it. Okay. When it comes to boil, lower it. Okay. I got some nice collard green leaves here, you guys. I was looking for banana leaves. Short notice, I should have looked uh, earlier in the week. There's all I came up with for presentation. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of rice right here. Beautiful. Beautiful. You having a good time? So oh, far? this is. I won't drop anything else, I promise you. Oh, guys, oh right? man. I won't make you drop Mac anything. That makes me all nervous. I'm sorry, I'm I know. Well, you know, you're with a president. <laughs> All I have to worry about is being impeached. <laughs> Other than that. Here we go, look at this. And you put that right on top? Oh, okay. Right on top, like so. Look at this. Oh, man. Let's get some sauce on there, huh? It's like no... stuffing is probably. Here we go. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at this, Tony. Beautiful. It looks oh, gorgeous. Oh, God. God. Does that look amazing? It smells like heaven. It smells great. Oh, smell that. That shirt sure trying to get away right there. I don't think so, mm -hmm. buddy. Are you one more right there? Okay. <laughs> and we got, I got a nice little mm. lavender leaf. There you go. Oh, beautiful. Fresh as lavender. Bon appetit, you guys. We, so we have our garlic shrimp here. Uh, really easy to make, you guys. Experiment at home. Go on our YouTube and let us and comment and let us know what you guys are making at home. We're gonna have you two try it out right now. Hopefully they like it. Okay. Here we are with Linda from Dimble Dimble and President Mike Mac uh, from Santa Cruz County Guild, uh, uh, Santa Cruz County Quilt, Quilt Guild. I got it. <laughs> Woo! Woo I'm telling you guys. So here we have our mo uh, mojo shrimp, the ajo. So let me know what you guys think, you guys. All right, so hopefully I get a thumbs up because Mac, I know Mac will give me a hard time if you don't like it. So feel free, bon appetit. Okay. Let me know what you guys think. Get a little rice in there. And get a little bit of everything. Remember, it's really garlicky. We are in the hill, Roy. Oh my God. Is it good? What does that taste? Oh, it's wonderful. You love it? It's heaven. That's what it is. It is heaven. <laughs> Oh this, my gosh. It's so delicious. So we got the thumbs up? So delicious. Thumbs up? So creamy and good. Good. Oh my good. gosh. Well, they liked it, you guys. We I'm got so the thumbs lucky. up. Mm. We're happy. Mm. Um, you guys tune in to the to the quilt show coming up. Get a hold of, of whoever you need to do to check it out. Uh, how can we see it again, Tony? You can see it April 7th on Facebook Live at the Neon Exchange business page, virtually, free at 6 p.m. Um, and you can also see it in person April 8th through the 18th, 10 a.m. to 4. You can show up at the door. You can buy tickets in advance. You can call us at the Neon Exchange. That's perfect. Let's, let's come yeah. out, you guys, and support it. Let's support our local business here. Uh, Nimble Dimple, let's come out and show some support, you guys, definitely. Oh, one more thing. And all proceeds go to St. Joseph Family Center. Two yeah. more things. <laughs> Millias and oh. Old City Hall. Big shout out to y'all. So Fran and Adam have extended a percentage discount for nice. meals. So anyone awesome. showing a ticket, which we'll hand out at the door, can go to Melia's and enjoy 20% off lunch, go to Old City, oh, enjoy 25% off of breakfast, lunch, and dinner at Old City. So thank you, Adam and Thank Fran. you, guys. Appreciate your help. Local businesses are always helping out, you guys. Yeah. Again, we have Linda Williams, and we're gonna, we have Mac. Thank you guys for coming on the show. Thank you. Wish you guys nothing but the best of luck. Thank and again, like you, you, like I tell every guest here that comes on, now you're part of our family. You guys need anything? Reach out to us. We're here to help you guys. Can we're we come to, to your house for dinner? Because yeah, you're doing dishes. Max doing dishes. I though. love doing dishes. <laughs> I love doing dishes. Again, it's, it. it's Easter weekend. You guys be safe out there. A happy Easter from the Neon Exchange, from Segovia's Catering, to your, your guys' family. Episode forty, and we are out, you Bye. guys. Thank you.
so we wanted to take a moment to stop at the end of this uh, episode 40 and just appreciate how far we've come. Chef Segovia and I started March, um, actually the first taping was April, the first week of April, April one year yeah. ago. And it was an effort to survive and it was an effort to get ourselves in front of an audience because we both were new businesses just starting out. And so we wanted to stop and thank you for... Definitely. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for hanging in there with us. Thank you for indulging us in watching our shows. And most importantly, um, for all the support on the streets when you see us and you say, hey, I watch Quarantine Cooking. <laughs> thank, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, we're here for you. And so far as we're in Quarantine Cooking and when we come out of this pandemic, we will still be here thriving and our doors will be open to you. So you, thank you. You guys are blessed. Thank you, thank everybody. You. We really appreciate all you guys. And just uh, thank you for everything. Thank you. Bye, you guys. Bye. We did it. Yeah, we did I it. Know, I know. We did it. I know. A year. A year. <laughs> I know you think I shut it off, but I didn't. <laughs>